Welcome to my thought for the day. Good to have your company this morning. I hope you are well and being blessed. Today, my heart is just filled with praise. That's a wonderful way to start the day. And the words of a chorus have been going through my mind this morning. It's a very old one, but it's based on many psalms that talk of God being our rock and our salvation. So I've turned to one of them to use as the base of today's thought. Uh, we have so much to be grateful for. And in, this, in this world that is full of change and disaster and trouble and fear and anxiety and, you know, sometimes I think we'd, be, we'd do better if we didn't have the uh, news media that tell us all the dreadful things that are going on in the world and uh, we can our minds can be terribly troubled by all the things we hear about that is going on in different countries uh, and, and even in our own country whatever is going on in your country I'm sure even your local news is is um, dominated by fear and anxiety and worry and this is why we need to renew our minds every day by going to the word of God, which doesn't change. You know, people who disagree with the word, of, uh, they, they, they try to mould it to their own thinking or to the modern thinking. But it's much better to stick with the scriptures as it is, as they are. And here I am in 2 Samuel 22, uh, where, where David... <coughs> Um, a, a psalm of David is recorded. It's very similar to many of the psalms in the book of Psalms. But he writes this song. David was always a singer. He was a musician. And he was always singing to the Lord. Singing praise to the Lord. You know, that is the best way to encourage yourself. That is the best way to lift up your thinking. To, to look up, not down. Not to look in at the troubles, but to look to God, who never changes. And the word that was in my head this morning was, um, the Lord reigns and blessed be my rock. And may the God of my salvation be exalted. That was an old chorus that we used to sing. And here David writes in 2 Samuel 22, verse two, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge. Always reminds me of the incident in Moses' life um, when he was told to stand on the rock and, and he was in the cleft of the rock as the Lord God passed by. Um, God encloses us in his rock, in a cleft in the rock, in safety. But the thing that struck me as I was reading it afresh this morning is it's my, it's personal. The Lord is my rock. He's my deliverer. He's my fortress. I know I said the other day that our world is full of me, 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 me. <laughs> and it is. But the scriptures are full of it as well. But we need to know, first of all, how precious we are to God. And then it doesn't matter what position we're in, in the Lord's kingdom, what role he gives us, what tasks he puts to our hand. It doesn't matter how menial the task, because we have our value in God's love for us. We don't need to push our own value. God has shown us how much he loves us. And therefore, we can be comfortably at the bottom of the pecking order, confident that everything that we do is of value to God and that we don't have to push our own importance. Jesus showed clearly the way to serve God is to be the servant, to be obedient, to be willing, to not think of ourselves more than we think of others, indeed to think of others more than we think of ourselves. It's, it's not an easy task because our human humanity is very selfish. But in this psalm, we can indulge in that selfishness, in a way, as it were, just knowing how much God loves us. 
David knew how much God loved him, even when he made some terrible mistakes and he did some awful things. As soon as he realised what he'd done, came to his senses, he went running back to the Father for forgiveness and restoration. And he was able to say, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold, my refuge, my saviour, thou savest me from violence. God is the great saviour. And once he saved us, he puts us on the rock or in the rock so that we have a stability. That rock is immovable. That rock is not shaken by earthquakes. That rock, that rock that is our God, solid, dependable, absolutely faithful, unchanging, unyielding. I, I, don't, I run out of words to describe what God is like. And then later on in this passage, um, it says in verse 18, He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for he, they were too mighty for me. They came upon me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. God always has a wonderful place to put us when he delivers us from our enemies, when he delivers us from the hands of Satan. He puts us in a broad place. There's room to move in God, you know. There's room to do and be ourselves in God. I, I love that phrase, he brought me forth into a broad place, not into a narrow place where I feel all hunched up and I can't, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm just, just about can squeeze in. No, there is space in God's kingdom for, for us. There is space. And the Lord was my stay. He was there, and he's there in whatever we're facing today, whatever the difficulties we're facing today. He is there, and he is the rock in which we hide. He is our protection. He is, he deserves our praise today. Lift your voice to praise him, whatever you're facing, whatever you're in the middle of, whatever's going on in your life. Look up, not down. Look at God, not at yourself. Look at God and not at your enemy or the difficulties you're facing. Look at God. Focus on God. Lift your voice in praise. Be like Paul in the dungeon. He couldn't change terrible circumstances, but he, didn't, he wasn't held by those circumstances. His heart and spirit and voice were free to worship God, even though he was in chains in prison in Philippi. Don't let your circumstances Stop you praising God. He is worthy of your praise today. Blessed be my rock, my saviour. Bye-bye. God bless. <laughs>